How's it going guys? Derek here from Addictive Tips and in this video we are talking about Onion Share. So Onion Share, if you don't know what it is, is a application that you can use to turn your computer into a server and you can share files securely over Tor. So the way it works is you have to download the Tor browser because you need to use the Onion router to connect to everything and then you install the software separately. So I'm using Arch so I'm going to have to install it through the package build system but we have information for a lot of other different distributions down below, so check my article. So we need to start off by installing and getting the the Tor uh, browser pack, and they have a 64-bit and a 32-bit version. I would recommend downloading, dire downloading directly from the website rather than getting ones that a lot of distributions <clears throat> have in their software sources, just because this is more up-to-date, and you can also check the PGP signature and see if it's secure. So you can right click on the download link here and then <clears throat> and then just go over to the terminal, do wget and then paste that link there. You can also just download it like by clicking the download button, but I mean it's just faster this way. So when the archive is done downloading, you can go ahead and use the extraction command to open it up. And then just, you know, do tac xjf and then tor. The You can press tab and it'll autocomplete the file name. Then just press enter, let it, you know, sit for a bit and it should extract everything. Then we could do ls and we can see our tor browser is right here. Uh, you can do cd into tor. And then on KDE, I can do right click open in file manager. And from there, I can just do start and click execute. Now this will let me connect to the Tor network. I can click the connect button and let it go. Sometimes you may run into issues connecting to Tor, but uh, if that's the case, just do what I just did and just try again. You should be able to get in. And once you get in, you've got the browser open. Just minimize that. We don't need that right now. And then I can go ahead and install Onion Share, which in my case would be and uh, I will let that build. Alright, so Onion Chair is installed. Now I can just search for it on my computer and uh, open it up. Now, as you can see, it's going to try and connect to the Tor network, and uh, the Tor browser is running, so we don't have to do any configuration. It's just going to create its own circuit. So from here, we can upload files. Now, in this video, I'm going to be using the web UI, or sorry, not the web UI. Huh, that's not, that doesn't exist. Uh, the GUI, the regular UI, but if you want to do it over the terminal, you can go ahead and check the link in the description. I go over that as well. So let's just look on my computer for a file I can upload. Let's say I want to upload this avatar image of me. I can drag it in here. I can click start sharing. Now that's going to create a Tor circuit. It's going to create a server on my system and it'll take a bit of time you know it's not instantaneous because it has to do all this technical stuff but once it's done you can grab the link and share it now it's important that you keep this program open at all times until you're done sharing it with whoever you're sharing it with once they have it downloaded they can let you know that they've downloaded it and then you can close the program but if you just close it after uploading it it doesn't work like you know say dropbox or something so okay i now i have it downloaded i can click the copy address button and I can go to the Tor browser and let's say that I'm the person looking to download this. I paste this in here and uh, I can see this is my onion chair setup. I can click the download file button and download it like a normal file. Uh, obviously if you try to download something with Tor it's going to warn you about it. Uh, in this case we know it's safe so we can click the download file button and then you can just click save and save it to the home folder 
And uh, that's how you do it. That's how you use Onion Share. I uh, hope you enjoyed this video, and I will see you in the next one. <laughs>